In this video, we're going to set the foreground and background colors into the toolbar on the left. It's these two things right here. So we set it up like it. If you're used to Photoshop, that's where it would be at. And we're also going to create some shortcut keys to make it work uh, like Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do in order to add these foreground and background controls to your toolbar is go to View, Customize Tools, and you'll notice a bunch of tools here. None of them have the foreground and background color in them, but I just want to show you something here. You can set your numbers of columns. You can set up to eight columns, which is, you know, way too much. And uh, you still notice there's no foreground and background color either. But look what happens when you go and you set it to two columns. You know, the foreground background color is still not there, but close it and watch what happens. And there it is. It just shows up. How about that? Now, if you wanted to reset it and get back the way it was, customize tools and just go to reset. Or, excuse me, just go back to one column. And, of course, you can reset if you've done anything. Because you notice if you're in here, you can move tools off. And you can put tools on. And uh, But if you want to go back to the original, just click reset. So we're going to go ahead and go back to two columns here. And we've got our foreground background color here. Now, uh, if you notice, you can press X. To swap the colors, press an X there. But if you press, let's say you uh, click on the color, get your color picker out, and let's say, let's click red. We'll close that. We had a red color here. If you go uh, press D, nothing happens. So we want to do, like in Photoshop, you could press D to reset it to your black and white. So what we want to do is we want to uh, go to uh, add shortcuts. We want to add a shortcut for that. And you want to go to edit on PC and it would say Affini Affinity Photo on a Mac. So go to edit, preferences, keyboard shortcuts, make sure file is selected. You got photo and file. And when you select file, go all the way down to miscellaneous and then you'll see here right here you have fill to black and white and we're just going to put the shortcut d like in a photoshop and if you wanted to set to 50 percent gray 50 50 percent gray with shift plus delete on the mac and shift plus backspace on the pc so i'm just going to this is a pc i'm just going to tap the shift bar and the backspace bar whoops Shift plus backspace. There we go. And we're going to close it. And now when I press D, see it uh, changes white. When I press Shift plus backspace, it will change it to the gray settings that we have in there. And that's really all there is to it. If this has helped you out, how about leaving a like, a comment, uh, Subscribe. Help get this channel out there. Thank you, and you have a good day.